Testing one two three testing. How do you sound? Test. Sound good. You look good. You sound good. You have a new haircut. You look youthful and rejuvenated. And I got a haircut yesterday too. I think haircuts、uh, change your whole mood. Because when I walked out of the barber, I go, "Ooh, that's a good haircut." Even though I wear hats, I go, "That's a good haircut." Well, show people your hair. Well, you can't really tell now. It's a mess, but it's yeah. Sorry, but it's good. The sides are short. Your your back is slanted. It a, is a little. That's the style. I didn't know if like the model. Oh oh, my back of my hair. I thought you meant my back. Like my no, posture is bad. I'm talking about hair. I know, but then. So how did you get pot? Whatever the back of your hair slanted like supermodels wear. They slant it like Twiggy. You know. So sometimes he just talks, and then you just gotta go with it because he has no idea what he's talking about. He uses references from forty years ago. It's wild. It's probably fifty years ago. A Twiggy reference? Do you think people know that? Everybody knows Twiggy. Do they? Yeah. If you know modeling, if you're in the fashion business, or you're up on modeling, like. But oh, okay, you think everyone should know everything you know, but you know nothing of modern day. Oh, ask me any question about modern day.、Um, what is who is the top? Who would you think is the top model of today? Naomi Campbell. <laughs> okay, a fifty-year-old woman. Huh? Fantastic. What's that? A fifty-year-old woman is the top model of today. Today's top model. How about、probably. Kaya Gerber? Oh yeah, yeah, Kaya. Do you know who she is? Number one model right now. Do you know who, who's? First of all, all the models, top models, are it's nepotism. Like modeling is just nepotism. <laughs> It is wild that modeling has become like you have very good-looking parents, but then you also have enough money to get the plastic surgery necessary to become a top model. Models don't. Top models don't get plastic surgery. Oh, they do. Oh no, because you could tell. No, that's absolutely not true. Are you, are you? You're 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 so. They're you, so pretty from the beginning. They don't need it. That's why they're top models. No, they get it. Then they become the most beautiful models in the world. And then,、um, I can't remember the girl's name, but there's two sisters, and the and Serena and. Yes, the top models are also tennis players from yesteryear. Well, I don't think they get. Uh, plastic surgery. They do. Maybe they when they do. get older. Are you? They do. Right from the jump, they get their nose done. They get the buccal fat removed. They get a, a brow lift. They get a eyelid surgery. Well, that's your opinion. It's not an opinion. It's like this is the thing that's so it's so frustrating to talk to you because not only will you not have a normal conversation、I、with、am. someone where you're taking information in and go, oh really? Oh they do? Oh that's interesting. You'll just stop the conversation by pretending to know something that you don't know. So you're just it's almost like you're a troll in real life where you're like, no, not true. When you don't know it, when you don't know anything, and it's like it's it's just not fun to have a conversation with someone like that、What? that doesn't know but won't admit they don't know, and then holds on to something that's not true, and then therefore won't learn anything new. I think. Like, do you think I'm lying? Like,、no. where do you think I'm getting my information? Well, I think, do you think I'm just like jealous and so? Oh, they all have plastic surgery. Is that what you think is happening? No, not at all. Well, then, what do you think? Why I, would I sit here and lie about it? Because I think, if because you do have, I mean, you are smart, but you do have a little exaggeration problem. So, if you think one or two get it, you're saying all of them get it. I didn't I, say all of them get it. I I said it seems、one. to be a trend now where like the top models are all from their it's nepotism, which is what their families are fine、at. by me. Go ahead, they come from beautiful people. Yeah, like Kai Gerber is Cindy Crawford's daughter. Oh,、uh, okay, and and I can't remember the. Uh, the Hadids, the Hadids are are 
from a their mom was a model anyway they've had lots of plastic surgery okay I'll you can see it in it. their pictures look at um the kardashian the jenner what's her name uh, kyle. kylie jenner oh, no the... not kylie the other one. Oh, Fuck, i don't know the kardashians names uh, you should. anyway that's good they're, that you don't know they're their names. they're um She's a top model, and she's had tons of plastic surgery. All right. I'll take your word for it. You're usually right about things. It's not that. See, that's not what you, but that's, it's not a winning or a losing. It's a you saying, oh, I don't have that information. Well, oh, interesting. That's why I said I'll take your word for it. No, but that's like, okay. It's also that not a fun a, person to have a conversation with. Well, I go ahead. Thank and say, you for telling me that. No, now I don't I want to be thanked. I just want to have a back and forth normal conversation. When you hear something you don't know, you go, "Oh, I didn't know that." Oh, oh interesting. Oh, whatever. Or, or I heard this, or I know this, or this is something else. You either go no, or well, I guess you get that point. I didn't say the conversation that. conversation is. I know, but that's. <laughs> 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 Someone help me. Can I tell you? Uh, no, you're. I maybe you need to be diagnosed with something. You have something. Yeah. I don't know what it is. It's like a block of cheese in your brain or something. It's just like uh, no. Okay, go ahead. Tell me something. What do you want to tell me? Oh, I guess. How do you know if somebody's vegan? They tell you. I know. I heard. Did you know that joke too? <laughs> I just no, that. I didn't know it. That's why I said it that, again. Do you see? Wow. Did you know that? Did no, you, I'm just like, did you just read it online too? No, that's been around for ever. Oh, it's pretty funny, huh? Well, let me tell you what happened to me. No. Yes, that didn't happen. Oh, well, so over the weekend, that just passed. I was working the comedy store in La Jolla. It's Wednesday. There's no weekend that just passed. Oh, today is Wednesday. Yeah, last weekend uh, at the comedy store. So you were in at the comedy store. Do you see how it's not fun <laughs> to talk to someone like that? Well, I'm not. No, I'm not that's what saying. you do all the time. You go no. If I'm telling you something, no, no. No, that's not true. <laughs> I'll say, I'll say, he'll say, how do you get to wherever? I'll go, oh, you make a left up there. No. I don't do that. We both know different You'll say, routes. who's who's this actor? It's so-and-so. No. No, I don't always do that. That's wrong. You know, I'll say, like last night we were watching a show, I'll go, was she in other stuff? And you go, she was a child actor. I didn't go, no. Okay. Wow, I took that, it was, in. that was shocking. So Saturday, the second show, the first show was great. Every show's great at the Comedy Show. No. You got to work there. I'm going to call. You want to work there? No. I can get you in. No. The waitress came up to me and said, oh, I just watched your roast. This is what she said. It's funny. She goes, I watched your roast. It was so great. Your wife is so funny. She says, whenever I go out on a date, I make the person watch that roast. And if they like it, I'll go out with them again. If they don't like it, that means they have no sense of humor. Wow. That's pretty good, right? That's a good barometer. So She sounds like a real cunt. <laughs> <laughs> so. No. The second show. I think yeah, it was the second show Saturday. There's probably 12. Is this, is this a story or is this just like story. listing stuff that no, happened to you? No, it's a story. Okay. There's like, oh, the bridesmaids. Yeah, there's like story. 12 gals at a bachelorette party. So I, I just, I was on stage for maybe five minutes. Oh, boy. Breaking them in. This talk, must be the fastest you've ever done this. Breaking them in. You know, I talked to a couple people in the front row just to, before I get going slowly build and get my pace going and i say to the girl getting married oh are you were you going on your honeymoon she said thailand or something oh boy and i oh, go no, i'm scared i go is he 
Thai or whatever. You know, I mean, who goes mm-hmm. to Thailand unless there's some kind of connection? <laughs> and then, what? Well, that maybe the, the person is... You think nobody nobody goes to Thailand Yeah, unless... to, pick up, to pick up young boys. Isn't I that think where there's, they do it in I Thailand? Think, I think there's more of a... a... It doesn't seem tourist like tourist thing than just like. Well, it doesn't seem like a honeymoon spot. Do you think it seems like a honeymoon I spot? Saw, I don't know. I don't know anything about anything. But I, I, if somebody said I'm going to Thailand, I wouldn't be like, well, "Oh, do said, you like children?" <laughs> no, I didn't say that. I said, Is "Actually, it? I might say that." But... So, okay. uh, just a normal. Is question. your husband a pedophile or he's Thai? <laughs> just a normal question. It wasn't racist or mean. I go, "Oh, that's nice." I go. When did you guys meet? Like, how long have you been dating them before you're, you know, mm-hmm. sometimes they go a year, two years. Now Those you're are, presenting this as though you're just being, I, you're I, I at was. a cocktail party. Having I was. Ch- Chit chat. I, I was. I was not. You're not getting any laughs I, oh, during begins, this time. Because I'm talking to her, getting information. Nothing mean, nothing rude. Uh, I've only been on stage five minutes. And then... So uh, I go, oh, when you meet, and she gets up and goes, I'm leaving. I go, all I did was ask her, when did you meet? And then she said, I know for a fact that if I was there, I'm getting the video. I get the video because I guarantee I didn't say, I promise. Listen, I've had. This is the first time in the history of the world that you've talked to anyone two questions in a row without being I, uh, in any way i'm not answer. saying you're right or wrong i'm just saying i'm like, telling i'm you, not sure this I'm gonna, representation is correct i'm getting the video and i'm i'm telling you i've had people walk out and i deserve to have them walk out at least in their mind you know i might have said something or whatever and i don't think they wanted to be there from the beginning so she goes i'm I, I, she got up so walk and I, I go, oh, you're going to the bathroom or something, whatever. She goes, I'm leaving. I'm like, what? Then they all started getting up, piling out. And I'm like, I, I go, this is insanity. I said to her, I go, all I did was ask when they met. I go, maybe that's, I don't know what I said from there. And they're leaving. I go, oh, fucker. Then I started getting mean. I go, she's a f- she, fuck her. Oh my god! I go, I go, she's a four, anyhow, and she's standing at the door. I go, she's a four, and and she goes to the manager. He called me a whore. <laughs> I never called. I called her a four, and so I get off stage, and the manager. They didn't give a fuck. You know, they knew I was right. He goes, why did you call her a whore? I said, no, a four, <laughs> and and I kept bringing it back throughout the show. That she was a four? No, the whole situation. And there was a guy to the right of stage. He goes, we're getting married. I go, oh, that's nice. How long have you been dating? He, he says 11 years. Or how long have you been engaged? He said 11 years. You know, then whatever. But I've never had. This was the wildest experience. It was one of the better shows, though. Believe you me. I made it work for Believe me. Believe you me. I I've never understood that Saying. Me neither do I, but it sounds good. Believe you me. So anyhow, I'll get the video and I'll even play it on the podcast when I get it. I'm gonna make a special out of this one set because I destroyed. So anyhow, so the comedy store, it was great. Uh the club is fun, the people that work there are fun. Uh the girl who opened for me is really a good comic. She's like but I bet you don't know her name. I do too. L. L. And are you having a stroke, or that's her name? That's her name. You don't and know her last name. People usually have two names. I don't know her last. Oh name. shit! I can look it up. She posts everything about you know. They always post. How come when they post on Instagram, you can't see what they post? It, it's they go in her story. Can you look? And I'm go, not going to explain stories to you right now. Okay. So, Somebody told me a story the other day that that you were downstairs trying to put something to your grid, and they were yeah. like, absolutely, you're not putting this on your grid, and they showed you how to put it in your stories. I go, that's the first time he's ever put anything in his stories. Yeah, I just, I made, yeah, the, the, I the, the guy was up. like, he was trying, he goes, he was, I, I can't remember what it was, he goes, he was trying to post it to his grid. I was like, this is not what you post to your grid, and I was like, 
I go, he doesn't know what stories are. He goes, I don't think he knew what they were. I usually just post. I don't post it to a story. I'll take a picture of something. And, but I, uh, but most, most of your social, like. My guy does all that. Oh, okay. He does it. Yeah. I When I post, I just put it up. It's easy to put stuff in your story. So the guy, the girl, like, it's good to work with a comic that really loves doing comedy. You know, she's writing. Uh, I, I was coming from breakfast. Never work with Rich Voss again. <laughs> <laughs> I was coming from breakfast. Don't and, ask bridesmaids or oh yeah. the when they met. And I saw her. I go, where are you headed? She goes, oh, I'm going to go have coffee and do some work. Like, this girl's obsessed with comedy. She's good. She was funny. She was killing every show. And L, everybody, L, look her up. Let's see if I know her last name. Hold on. It'll probably be in my. You go to Instagram. Hold While on. you look this up, let me just say something that I need to say about the Tropical Smoothie Cafe. They believe you deserve a getaway every day, not just once a year. That's why they have mocktails, which are delicious. The summer mocktail smoothies are here for a limited time at Tropical Smoothie Cafe. Uh, mocktail is just a sip away. Nothing says summer like a tropical mocktail smoothie. Do you know what they are? It's like these delicious uh, tropical things. You can get the Island Punch Smoothie, which is peach, guava, passion fruit, mango, and pineapple. Or you can get the Mango Berry Cosmo Smoothie. That sounds good. Mango, strawberries, cranberry, and lime. Or the watermelon mojito smoothie. Watermelon, mint, strawberries, and lime. Th those sound so good. And also, the Tropical Smoothie Cafe that just opened here in Hillsboro is like they have all these wraps. They have food. They have different smoothies. They have, it's like a really cool. Oh. And they have also you can get curbside pickup. So you want to get a mocktail. You can order it on the app, and they'll just bring it right out to your car. It's pretty wild. After golf, I'm going to go get a, a chicken Caesar today. And then you might as well get a summer mocktail smoothie, the Island Punch smoothie, the Mango Berry Cosmo smoothie, or the Watermelon Mojito smoothie. You're on Tropic Time now at the Tropical Smoothie Cafe. Okay. The girl's name is L Orlando. Very funny. L Orlando. Okay, how do you okay go there? Oh, story she's, unavailable. Yes, because the stories only last for twenty four hours. Oh, there is that it? No, the, that's the, her stories now. Oh, uh, the story that mentioned you is gone. This guy sent me a. What really we're gonna do now? Just how do you do that? You just listen. Why how do you saying, listen? No, I know how to listen, but. Why would he, I did one podcast with this guy, uh, Legion of Skanks. Hold on. What's it? Yo, Rich, it's Rock. Hey, you know the Steve Rinaldi guy? Oh, don't, don't, because it might be bad. <laughs> what's that? It might be bad. Well, it's Steve Rinaldi's the guy that got us. I know, but um, he goes, you know the Steve Rinaldi guy? It, it, you know, you don't know where it's coming after that. He's great, or this guy fucking stole money. You know, you don't know what's happening. Just don't, yeah, don't ahead. play these. Now they got people want to hear. No, it, don't, don't play it. Oh, I don't think it's going to be bad. All You're right, play it so later. dumb. <laughs> I'm not dumb. God. He's never listened to he, you. You know the, these voice uh, to text. He's never listened to one. Yeah. Well, then how come made, he just said... How, I just hit it. I've even made some. How come he just said I don't... Because I didn't want it to disappear like all the other stuff. You know. That's on your text, though. Yeah. No, that was in Instagram. Oh, but it won't. It's a DM. Uh, so the girl was funny. And what I like about the club, the uh, comedy store in La Jolla, they use a different host every show that work there you know they work the door they get paid and they get stage time so every show there was a different host that's kind of good for for you know new comics i think and they do the same thing at the comedy store in la
but it gives. They don't uh, have hosts. Oh, well, this place. Well, this was a tag team. The host went up, brought up the uh, the other comic, then she brought me up. So anyhow, it was a great weekend. Uh, I had a lot of fun. We played some amazing golf courses, private course. I mean, oh, they're so nice. We, I'm telling you, we need to get really rich. You know what I mean? And then uh, have a place like, you know, somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I mean, get real. Rich I don't want to live house. on a golf course, but well, thank in, you. In San Diego, no, in La you're Jolla? Con- you. You've been pitching the San Diego thing to me for Never. years. Never, I said. Don't, move to San that, Diego. Isn't that that the place where you wanted to get? No, the, that's up. No, that's Northern California. Whatever. It's very similar in Palm Palm Springs. Palm Springs. Okay, and and it's like so we can have a vacation. It's like. I I don't want to. I'll if I go, I'll just get a hotel or a Airbnb. I don't need to have a place that yeah. I'm not using for nine months. No, but if you get in Palm Springs, because I've been there before, there's nice. Like you probably don't think it's nice, but there's like trailer homes. Oh my God! Do you see what, what? I'm up against? Okay, I have a theory. No, no, but I've, they're I've nice. Before, I nice know, home. I know he's 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 upgraded his trashness. But when you grew up in trash, as have I, as have has Rich, you're you're poor trash. Okay, it never leaves you. It is a, no. an addiction that's harder to quit than heroin. It really is. It's constantly calling you back home. So Rich is constantly wanting things that seemed good in his youth you know like an rv you want to drive around in an rv a small one not a big one no yeah right no not even a nice one and not uh, a big one like a small like one two person he has every time he walks by plastic things that go in your yard he wants them he's like what about this he wants to junk up our yard like you would not believe. It takes everything in me to be like, <laughs> I no, want to junk up put it yard. down. Yes. Yes. Because it's not even like. Did I make the front yard look pretty? Well, we're, we're one it does, is not exclusive to the other. So, yes, you, I do love the way the yards look right now. But that didn't stop you yesterday from looking at a plastic. Cabana. Cabana thing. Oh, it was nice. And going, you don't even drink. A cabana. It's like it was basically a bar for your backyard, but it's. It's a cabana. It would blow away in a a big storm. No, the thing was heavy. You have to put it together. It's not like some bin, the plastic bin. This is, this is, this is. I, I mean, there's, I can't, he's constantly like. Look at these chairs I got from a secondhand store. Oh, they they were they look new, and I I power wash them. Tell me they're not nice. Five bucks a piece. Come on. I mean, they're not something you want out no. all the time. If you no, know. if you have guests or you're laying in the sun, you want to relax. They're fold out. Yeah, Nautica, and they have uh, uh, pillows for the head. Come on. You when I brought them home, you couldn't believe how nice they were. And you could take them to the beach. You yeah. could take them to the lake. You could take them on a picnic. Okay. okay and I didn't go in there with the intention to buy them. I saw them. I go, okay, let's get those. Mm-hmm. So anyhow, like, I'm not talking about I want to live in a trailer park. But if you get a nice place, mm-hmm. you know, two-bedroom mobile home in Palm Springs, you have a place to go vacation that yes, has yes. your stuff Why there. wouldn't you want to go vacation somewhere worse than where because you actually live? Doesn't that seem? It's not worse because you have clothes there. You have golf clubs there. It's, it's you have clothes home. and golf clubs at your home. Yeah, but then you can travel there a couple so, times so in go, the winter. Go. You're, you can travel wherever you want. Go wherever you want. But then you, you have, have to have lug have... everything. That's, is, is, that's the only positive no then you can come back to your place make dinner 
You could, you could have an Airbnb. A, you could do that. Like, I don't know. We, I'm not looking at it as a castle. I'm looking at it as a getaway. You know, people rent houses down the shore, little bungalows, and go there for a week or two weeks. You know. Well, little- okay, getting a getting a place at the Jersey Shore sounds actually way more usable than something in San Diego. Not San Diego. Wherever. Palm saying. Springs. Well, before you said San Diego. No, I'm saying the courses I played there were beautiful. But if I was going to move, I wouldn't move to there. It's too expensive. Go ahead. Get it. I'll never go. You'll never go? No. As a point of pride, I'll never go. And Palm Springs is only like two hours from L.A. I'll never go. Oh, you'll go if no, I got it. I won't. Because I'll, oh, I'll, just... I'll just, if I want to go to L.A., I'll just go to L.A. Why would I need to go to Palm Springs? For what reason? Look at Gullip has a house up in the mountains, a cabin. I don't care. You can get a cabin up in the mountains, too. Uh, and where it snows. Do you, want to get, do you want to get a cabin in the mountains? No. No. Why not? Why not? Because that's not what go. I, want. I want. Right. Okay. There you go. So what you want is different than what Gullip wants. True? Yes. Okay. So what I want could possibly be different than what you want. Yes. Okay. okay. There we what go. I, so I'm not going. Just like you're not going <laughs> to the cabin in the woods. No, 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 no. You don't have to own one, but you could still visit one. Not, I'm not going. I didn't buy it. Well, go ahead. I'm not, I'm not going. Why Ever? would I go to Palm Springs? What What would be the reason? What would uh, I do in Palm Springs? To lay Springs? back and relax. Oh, like I did yesterday in our own pool? Yeah, in the winter I'm talking about. What are you going to do in the winter? Well, in the winter, I have a child that... She's going to be 18 soon. Well, in a year. we'll revisit this, this when she's in college. Yeah. When we, at the point... We have separate bedrooms, but wait till we have separate houses, right? Ben Affleck and uh, J-Lo. They have separate houses? Mm-hmm. No way. Mm-hmm. Well, they got enough money. They can do that. Are they close to each other? Listen, you ask me questions <laughs> well, <laughs> that are just so... Um, they're about 25 minutes apart, yeah. Uh, with traffic, it gets to be soon as 40 minutes. Well, you right. can have a house next door to each other and walk over and say, hey, you know. Or you could have a house in Jersey and one in Palm Springs, a mobile home. I mean, I would do a one-bedroom condo. I'm going to punch you in the head. I don't know why, but wait, right now you're really, I would have a one-bedroom condo. Yeah. It's like, of course you would. That's your trashness. Trashness is condos? Being That's- like. That's being Don't trash. get me started. Don't get me started. What? The old condo was nice in the beginning, and then we got no. a lot of stuff. No. When I wanted to move, you were, like, pulling up to play. You don't remember? I We got in a huge fight because I wouldn't get out and go look at this thing. And I was like, it, it, to me, it looked like tenement housing. I mean, it was terrible. Brick facing where you just, like, a short little walk from the sidewalk to the steps into your house. Yeah, from the driveway. One <laughs> next to the other. You're like inside. It's nice. Yeah, well, it's- I go. I'm not. I'm not going in. I'm not. I'm not looking. Well, maybe I'm a. I, you know, I'm half flute and I don't care. <laughs> well, you know. And you got so mad at me. You were like, Argh. and now you're like. We need a better house. No, I mean this is not You're nice. you're all over the place. You don't know what you want. I do know what I want. You don't know what you want. I do know what I want. I want a vacation house in a warm area. Everybody's moving to Austin. Just Airbnb. Your daughter do has a fucking Airbnb in, in Florida. Florida. Go there. No. I want a place where I could hang my hat. You ever hear that saying? Hang your hat. Huh? Have you heard that one? I think you should have a place where you can hang. Oh, look at you. And then just the joke and just stare and wait for the response. Well, what am I going to do? Don't you hate when you you ever work and there's a band behind you and the drummer does that? I no, fucking... I've never had that happen. Yes, you have. Were the drummers done it? No. I want to fucking, I, I lose it. 
I said, don't you ever do that again. <laughs> I've never had that happen. Never? <laughs> I've never had that happen. A drummer would do that yes. while you're, I mean, you must, that's a, like, I yeah. mean, first of all, how many times have you had a band on stage when, when you're on When I used stage? to work the Poconos, they had bands. Okay, well. They were getting ready. And the drummer. Oh, my God. I did the Poconos once. It was so bad. <laughs> and they go, now you have to get off when you hear the band getting they on stage. They didn't fire you? Didn't you get fired? No, I didn't get fired, but it was <laughs> not good. And they were like, um, yeah, I had to do one show this one place, and then the next night do the, oh, the yeah. other place and whoever the paradise stream and cove haven the the comedians switched yeah and it's all oh. couples too horrible oh so all couples i can't get any of my jokes to work i start doing crowd work the crowd work is i just can't make any of it work it is so i'm literally doing that bad crowd work i think like where are you from oh nice oh well <laughs> look at you i've been there on vacation cool and then uh, they were like you know you'll hear the band setting up just they're they're going to be quiet so just keep going and and then you know the minute i heard i go oh well the band's back there so let me get <laughs> let me get out of here <laughs> i got uh they were like ah. so uh, i have a, when i used to work the poconos there was three places, Paradise Stream, Cove Haven. I can't think of the other one. So I'm working Paradise Stream. Cove Haven was the best one. Uh, I'm working Paradise Stream, and I get off stage, and the entertainment director there said, uh, you are one of the worst acts. Uh, you're offensive. I don't find you funny. Mm you're just whatever wow and then his daughter was Wait. getting married so then to your show with her so and I, bridesmaids and i was you and, know and continued the tradition so you work no nothing on that yeah i like that I'm well they could those. have a conversation you're so focused on getting your story out yeah. oh i see what you did oh ha ha like uh, uh, what am I supposed to go? Huh? No, but people do have conversations. That is one of the things that people do when they're having, when they're doing a podcast with someone else. They're having a. We well, had like, a lot. This is me. This is me. No, this is me telling a story. Blah blah blah. This is you. Okay. Well, this is what happened to me. No, and then when say, I interrupt, you go. I talk to you. I go. Did you get fired? Because I remember I've gotten fired. But anyhow. No. You really want to get hit, don't you? I really? <laughs> I'm gonna get up and leave. I'm fucking team bridesmaids now. <laughs> team bridesmaids. Yeah, I mean, it's like it's it's like it's not fun to talk to you. I, I, I'm not. It's, I'm like trying. We're here I, posting I'm, information. I'm trying. Okay, but don't you think like also like oh well that might play back well for a clip or something? No. I, I, oh, the, and then that was the guy's daughter. They, 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 you just like, I mean, what's going I There is some, you are neurodivergent in some way. I oh don't know what it is. Oh my God. I knew that, that would get you. Oh I knew my. that, okay, that's like a totally normal thing that people say, but I realize No that one in the history you of life You have has not ever. learned a new word since no 1984, so no I get it, I get it. Neuro people what? say neurodivergent. <laughs> all the oh, time yeah. what people so i say it on stage and it'll get a laugh neurodivergent did you do that bit about the credit card that's so funny no i didn't do it. are you kidding me i forgot do it show it to him my stomach's growling <laughs> we eat i read that we eat or i saw it on a TikTok that we eat um the equivalent uh uh of one credit card in microplastics in how long in per month per month yes you you eat the equivalent of the size of one credit card in microplastics per month so now when i go to check out i just go charge it <laughs> <But see>? <laughs> <laughs> that's funny that's dumb so i'm working the poconos 
And the guy, yeah, you're horrible. You're the worst. Da, 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 da. And it was like 600 for the weekend. Three shows. Oh, my God. I can't believe you're still finishing the story. The oh, yeah. The whole time we were talking, you're like, okay, she wants me to talk to her a little bit. So let me just talk to her a little bit. How long? Oh, I'll ask her about that credit card bit. That's a compliment. She'll like that. She'll let that go. Then I'll be able to get back to my story. That's got all going on in your brain. No. You're like, no, I, I mean, people. she's want... mad at me. Let me try to find some. Oh, you're pretty. Oh, you got a good funny joke. Oh, so I can get back to the thing that I want to get back to. No, you're not mad at me. I was mad at you. I was saying you don't know how to have a conversation. That's not mad. You're just discussing. Whatever. So. Oh, my God. <laughs> I have to finish the story. Oh, my God. So, uh, you know, I was getting it like. better be a good story. I it's a good that. story. So the guy, you know, who's telling me how bad I was and how how much he hated me i was getting like 600 a weekend right well after last comic standing we did a show there i think you might have been on it but it was me gary goldman where was it up in the poconos it was oh. like from season one and season two me gary goldman oh and probably a, i think it was alonzo bowden mm -hmm. and i was getting four grand right i used and the guy was in the audience and i go I go, this is crazy. I used to work here for six hundred dollars and now I'm getting like four grand and I'm doing basically the same garbage. <laughs> and he was there and you know I was saying it to him kinda. Like I don't know exactly what I said, but obviously I was doing different material, but what a hero. You know who you're reminding me of? I'm not being a hero. I'm did, did you they, see any similarities to the guy in the show we were watching last night to you? The no, guy who kept getting himself into trouble by talking shit to the executives and stuff. He was a yeah, but he was a drunk. Yeah, but that's who you are without the alcohol. No, I know. Uh, no, I. I oh, you will. You I do not. You do time. not let something slide. Sometimes I, I I let a lot of things slide. I want to text this one club owner and call him a fucking cunt. He called me and asked me to do a weekend. I said I can't do that weekend. He goes, well, I'll give you something else. So I write to him. I said, uh, do you want to put something together? He goes, I'm going over my calendar Monday. Then he just won't get back to me. And I want to write, you're a coward, you know, whatever. But I refrain. But he called me. I never called him. Some dumb shitty club in Kansas or but whatever. But why? I don't get why you get so mad. Like, just let it go. Like, who I cares? Did let it like, go. oh, no, you didn't. Cause yeah, because I didn't call. I didn't write on I know, but that's not letting it go because you're still thinking about it and talking about it. If you let it go, it wouldn't even come up in your brain. You no, wouldn't be well, thinking. I'm you, when you but say like, I don't let things slide, I just told you a story. I let slide. Well, you're, but, you, but, but the truth is, is that you're not really letting it slide. You're still harboring, but why does it make you so mad? Like, why because, can't you just be like, oh, well, sometimes I get stuff, sometimes I don't. There's new things around the corner. There's, there's this. I know. But what, a guy is. emailed me and said, hey, you want to do he this gig? No, listen, stop. He called me and goes, oh, do you want to do whatever, blankety blank? I said, yes, da da da. Uh, you know, go to my email. Never got another response from him. I'm only thinking of it now because I'm trying to think of some situation where I could have an example, but I, I you know, what, I'm going to get mad at it. I'm going to start like being furious that the guy didn't get back to me. I don't care. He I, obviously, well, I, never, I never cared about the place to begin with. Yes. but, but that, So me. then I get it. He called you big deal. He moved on to other things. He didn't have a date for you. He didn't like the way you were responded what? i responded gentlemanly that, uh, this is these are all just examples i'm just saying why do you care so much why do you take it as such a uh, rejection of you because it's part yeah it is he's not rejecting you when he calls me no he's not rejecting you either he's living his own life based on things you can't see other people have bad things to say there's no listen some people are bad people Bonnie. You can defend it if you want, but I'm saying you're the one hurting. <coughs> yes, but there you're are the one bad who gets people. mad. You're the one who has to go. I didn't. I wanted to, but There's... I wanted to call my cunt. Like, why does it make uh, you so mad? Because you don't deal with as many people as I do. In 
lot of club owners, and most of them are nice. Most of them are great. You know, Mark and Roger. Stop <coughs> listing people not, that I'm you listening. like. Just stop. Okay. Because you're going to miss somebody, and then you're going to be like, oh, now i got to think of, and then you're going to have to like, so, so just don't. All right. All right. You're, you're really pissing me off now. Yes, because we you're don't like, agree on things. We would see things different. You got it. You see things your way. I see things my way. We deal with people different. No, but it's not I that. Don't, it's that, I don't do mean no, things. No, it's it's there's a thing inside of you that my liver. Did you just fart? No, that was I went like that with the cup. Oh, please. I swear to God I didn't. I swear to God. I already went to the bathroom. I don't know. It's it's this you T- working to control your anger. I'm supposed My to give you points control. for Look it. At this. Look how controlled I am. Remember that time you like oh, the boy. lawyer wouldn't call you back? Oh, well, are you going to bring that up again? I'm just saying it's very like indicative of like something business. inside of you. No, it's <coughs> I'm not. I'm responsible. I'm a it's, responsible it's, person. It's not. No, because you can't control other people. So let it go. Who I cares? do, but I let a million of them it's go. It's like it's like if you I can't don't. find a parking spot you don't start going like oh these fucking people that are parking in my parking spot and how dare they and that's not a good comparison yes because it's it's, it's something you can't control yeah i know and it's the Grammy same as those serenity. people that you don't know what's going on in their lives you just take it as one thing which is they rejected me when really he, his Maybe his wife is sick. Maybe he has other things on his mind. Maybe this Quit happened, or maybe up that... for bad people. And, and also, but why would you care? Oh, he's a bad person. Let me just get him out of my fucking thoughts. Yes, completely. I do. I I just brought it up because you asked me about something. I didn't. You did. I like anyhow. No. <clears throat> why well, something's in my throat? Yeah, it's anger. <laughs> I don't have anger. I'm very. You don't have anger. Should we no. talk about the thing? What thing? No. When you called me? No. We well, got. I got to wrap this up anyhow. Well, you do have anger, and you like and 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 you like seeing things that make you angry. That's not true at all. That's your opinion. You have opinions, and sometimes they're right. Sometimes they're wrong. I think it makes you feel good. No, no, I'd rather be happy. It feels, it resonates. It's like, oh, that's why you like watching fights. And... No, I don't want. I, you, I don't watch that shit. You d- used to watch it all the time. No, you're exaggerating. Every you time. don't want. You don't read negative things on Facebook. No, only I read. I watch. You like well, looking the at main things, things that make I, you mad. No, the main things I look at on Facebook are. People in in the woods building houses and tents and shelter. That's the main thing I look at. Then I used to look at when animals attack, but I'm getting really upset with tigers and lions because they're just bullies. And mainly I look at, uh, you know, people camping and building shelter. in the, Or the Asian kids that build these or... <clears throat> like places underground with pools in them out of dirt and they're amazing have you ever seen one of those mm-hmm. amazing anyhow this weekend i'm at uncle vinnie's thursday night i'm doing a fundraiser in newark for uh something the police or something but friday saturday uncle vinnie's next weekend ohio at uh the funny stop then at the mothership at the end of the month in June and uh, go to richfoss.com. What's going on with you? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> What's wrong? Well, how did I get here? I'm going to be in Williamsburg. Williamsburg Comedy Club on Friday and the stand on Saturday. Plus you're doing that fundraiser Sunday. Oh, yeah, uh, at uh, Gotham. Gotham Comedy Club Sunday afternoon. 5.30. Oh, 5.30. I think I'm bailing And then out. I'm in Williamsburg at 8 p.m. that night, too. That's good. You'll be out of there at like 6.30, 7, yeah. and then you go over there. Yeah. 
you're doing a lot of Brooklyn late. Is it Brooklyn audience is different than Manhattan? Um, well, the Williamsburg Comedy Club is excellent but, uh, every time I've done it. Are they younger than New York? No. Mixed, yeah. I would say even maybe older than the stand sometimes. Oh, really? Yeah. It's like married people. Oh, All right. Peace out. Thank you. <laughs> la, 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 la. My Wife Hates Me podcast, hosted and created by Rich Voss and Bonnie McFarlane, produced by Nick Collette. Find us wherever you get your podcasts. This jackass Jew. Some people say that opposites attract, but this seems more like a suicide pact. He's totally sober. She's not that drunk. He's really old and she's got some spunk. He's totally holy as an asinine bum, and she's just a little less dumb. She really hates him. It's really true. But somewhere deep down, she loves him too.